Good evening, everybody. This is Tara from Tara's Truths. Today is Tuesday, July 16th, and today at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we actually had the full moon. Um, so we are still in this full moon energy for the next couple of days. And I just kind of wanted to do a reading uh, for the energy of the full moon and what we might be expecting um, to feel for the next couple of days uh, within ourselves, within our our connection, within our uh, and what is going on with our divine counterpart. So this is going to be a reading for the divine masculine and feminine. Excuse me. So um, if you are in a uh, twin flame connection, a soul connection, a soulmate however you resonate, whatever this is for you, karmic partnership, however, whatever it is for you, um, whether you're in union or separation or whatever, this is for you somehow. So um, if you get messages and, and this resonates with you, great. If not, please just move on forward. There are plenty of other people out there. I, I'm sure that can help you. There are many, many wonderful readers. But anyway, so uh, how I, I channel is I will say for the divine feminine, I will say she, and for the divine masculine, I will say he. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see what's going on for the energy surrounding the full moon in general. So this is the uh, activation oracles, uh, sacred geometry. So let's see what the energy uh the universal energy for the full moon let's see what we got what is the universal energy for this full moon what is going on right now with the universal energy for the full moon let's see universal energy for the full moon no that's not it if it is it'll come out universal energy for the full moon Solar plexus chakra. Interesting. Okay. So, can you see? Okay. Solar plexus. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power, and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. Wow. Really beautiful. So we're, this full moon is asking you to check in with yourself and check in with um, your knowing and your personal power and how to step into that power. So, wow, this is really ask, the, the, this full moon is asking you to not necessarily uh, concentrate on the connection of the divine masculine and divine feminine if you're in separation or even in union that but to concentrate on your own personal power your own personal strength and that will make the union that much stronger or that will make the connection that much stronger um so yeah i'm getting that this is more of a sense of self than anything else and the the full moon wants to fully support uh working through this so this is uh your one two third third chakra yes and three see look at that so yeah so that's that's what this is so um surround yourself with yellow um you can use citrine i believe tiger's eye is also another good one for the for the solar plexus chakra it also helps digestion so if you find something that you're having a hard time digesting it's that there could be blockages going on there so the full moon is is in full support of this so that's where we're going with that okay so now i kind of got that as a as for the masculine and the feminine so i i don't think this was uh to either or and like i've also said in other readings uh masculine and feminine could also be your sense of self, your feminine side and your masculine side, it's just energy. And we all have um, both of those 
uh, energies within us and, and it could be the union and the coming together of those two energies, the yin and the yang. So that's where I'm going with this. All right, so let's see. Um, what is the energy that is surrounding the masculine during this full moon? What is the energy surrounding the masculine during this full moon? Wow, wow. All right, all right. Well, this masculine is really in his power. Um, he's the emperor. He is, he's there. He is strong. He is organized and logical and, and uh, organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Yeah, he's, he's pulling his own weight, ladies. Um, the divine masculine is really stepping into his power and he is in complete control. He is creating abundance. He is... Um, creating the law of attraction. Uh, you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Yeah, like I, I said, he is definitely stepping into his power. So the divine masculine really, really wants to take off from here. So that this is really beautiful energy surrounding him this week. However, we do have this four of water. So um, this is the four of cups. So for this is missing an opportunity discontentment or boredom open your eyes to the possibilities yeah in this it's almost like he's kind of getting a little bit stuck in some so this is this is a little bit of a of a not a warning but a an advisement to not that if you don't if the masculine doesn't step into his power he's going to miss an opportunity um and he's not going to like it. So he really needs to go forward with this and just concentrate on this. That's that's kind of where I'm going with this. That's what, that's just what I'm getting. That's what's resonating. So, you know what? I kind of want to know a little bit more about this four of water. What is this regarding? What does this four of water have to do with? Uh, let's pull some... Where are they? Right here. This is Oracle Cards from Mandy Moore. Let's see, what is this Four of Water energy that he's dealing with? Uh, a date, social gathering nourishment. Not really, let's see. Oh, okay, let's see, all right, let's see. Oh, and this is upside down. Oh, all right. So, this could be a little bit more specific um, because I'm getting uh, a date, a social gathering, or nourishment. And this was kind of upside down. So I'm going to kind of read it in reverse. Uh, toxic environment, emotional vampires. I'm kind of getting that he's coming out of this energy. That um, he, this may even, if this resonates with you, this may be even a third party situation. If you're masculine uh, or you as a masculine is with a feminine that is not your twin or whatever, but you're in more of a karmic or whatever, um, that there's this energy surrounding you that you're kind of coming out of this toxic environment. So this could be what's going on, but you're moving through that. Um, and I'm kind of getting that that stepping into this power and owning your, 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 um, manifestation abilities, your, the law of attraction, you know, basically if you stay in this, this is, like I said, kind of is like a warning that there is, uh, the concept is here. I'm having a heart. We're still a Mercury retrograde, everybody. I'm sorry. Um, there is a little bit of a toxic thing that the masculine still has to work through. I'm kind of getting, this could even be with some kind of, of um, home life that he's still working through. Um, whether it's... Uh, uh, hmm. getting a little bit of a block here 
I'm getting a block. Need a little bit more clarity. That's too many. Need a little bit more clarity. And this is upside down. Are they all upside down? They are. All right. So I will. All right. Passion, alive, aliveness, flashes of inspiration. Yeah. This is this is the. No, something is off. Something, I'm not being told something. What is, what is there? I'm, I'm kind of getting that there's a past relationship, challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. What I'm getting from this divine masculines is that there was a divine feminine in your life that came in and did a little bit of damage um, is what I'm getting. Uh, I'm kind of getting that there's th there was this feminine that wasn't necessarily in her power and that she was more of a toxic it was more of an, a, a toxic environment a very passionate one um that made you really feel something and it was yeah i'm kind of like getting this as a story that this passion was there and that's what kept you in this situation this could even be going on right now um, and there is a way out of it by stepping into your power and i, I think that this is more of like this is part of that clearing out that solar plexus. I really believe that the masculine needs to step into this power to clear this past energy out. Or this could even be current energy that's going on with the masculine that he really needs to take a look at and really needs to step out of. That he really needs to, to own his feelings um, and really move through this and the solar plexus the 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 full moon is is definitely um the energy of the full moon is definitely going to support you to do that and you definitely can step into your power and just own yourself i i hope that resonated because it took it was a little hard coming out but that that's kind of what i'm getting and divine feminines i mean it is what came through because i just got the confirmation chills um I, that, I'm not going to say any more about that. I'm going to leave that as that. And let's see where the Divine Feminine is um, during this. Where's the energy of the Divine Feminine during this full moon? Page of Fire. Let's see. Starting, maybe starting a new thing. Oh, look at that. The moon, the moon, the moon. We're in this full moon. In your insights, in your psyche, in the dark hidden places. All right, wow, a lot of pages. Look at that. All right, so the feminine, wow. Outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. A new person enters your life. A relationship begins a new phase. Heightened psychic awareness. And the moon, important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. This is pretty much just basically it. The feminines, you are stepping into this moon energy. This moon energy, it's it's your time. This The moon is the feminine power. This is the feminine card with this. This is confirmation that this is your moon. And this is your moon cycle to start these new and beautiful creative things that you can start, that, that you're at the beginning of this exciting new adventure, this passion, this drive. And I'm saying it's new because it's the page. It's, you're not, you haven't fully completely stepped into it. And um, also you're owning, you're, you're stepping into this um, area of, of emotions and very heightened uh, feelings and, and creativity and confidence and the moon fully supports you in doing this. Now, that's just what I'm getting. Basically that the, the divine feminine is kind of like dabbling. 
more of like a like that you're not stepping into that that queen's energy which is okay because it's like you're trying on new things you're trying to see what new things are going to work for you and that's going to support you by clear out, that's going to support you to clear out that solar plexus chakra so that is what that whole thing was about of um right here you're stepping into your your personal power getting uh, getting your sense of self by doing new and, and different things you're going to get a better sense of who you are and what you want and where you want to go and that's what this moon energy has for you and it doesn't look like anything's bring holding you back yeah look time to fly travel vacation getting away for a bit this is what that is. Just go for it. I, I kind of got like time to fly south. It's not even necessarily that. No, I don't like that. Um, yeah, well, travel, vacation. Maybe that is something you need to do. Flight plan, a trip. Oh my God, disappearance, lack of closure. A trip, travel, vacation. Maybe this is what this is telling you. Take a fucking vacation. Get out of yourself. Try something new. Go someplace new. Hit the reset button. That's kind of what I'm getting. I mean, how many cards are going to tell me that to get a trip, <laughs> to go on a trip, take a vacation, take a vacation from the connection, take a vacation from um, your expectations, take a vacation from where you think you're supposed to be and try these new adventures, this new, no, no more is coming out, try this new fire, this new water, this new way of this new passion of yours this new energy this new emotion that you can work through that it's there to support you wow really beautiful energy wow the feminine is 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 in her energy is in be some beautiful energy all right so let's see what needs how am i gonna do this Let's see what needs to be released. What what energy needs to be released for the masculine? Let's start with the masculine. What does the masculine need to release during this full moon? What does the masculine need to release during this full moon? Mmm. Mmm. There's too many there. Memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children romanticizing the past what does he need to release i asked what he needs to release so what he needs to release is all these emotions these spilled cups um um two nines too that's interesting he needs to release um, the expectation of where he thinks he's going. Um, he needs to release control a little bit is where I'm going with what I say with this. Because the nine of earth, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment, and the nine of fire, two nines, don't give up. Protect that which you've created have courage and believe in yourself what i'm kind of getting is that for some reason like this energy that's around the masculine he's stuck like he's in his if he feels anything it seems like he's feeling these emotions that he's having a hard time maneuvering through and it's from uh history of childhood issue issues regarding children romanticizing the past yeah, I, I think there there this could also be related to that feminine energy I said before. Um, he needs to work through some shit, uh, whether this is karmic or whether this is from this plane. But this is the solar plexus needs to be cleared out of this. It, it's almost like he's given his power away, um, but he's able to step into it and and if he realizes where he is that he's in this nine of earth energy and this nine of fire he's he's pretty good like he's got the drive he's got the he's got his feet on the ground he's got the drive to do it and he he can um if he releases this he can get into this power that's pretty much what i'm getting 
like working through those those childhood memories that childhood past that or even not even childhood this could be um if if the divine masculine even has a child this could be something to do with his child there could be some kind of oh uh, you know i'm wondering if there could even be some kind of something with an ex um what perhaps regarding children there could be some kind of fight over children um that he's going through i i don't know it, it this is man the masculine is he's a he's a tough nut to crack i need a little bit more information about this please a little bit more look locked in the past Locked in the past, stuck, avoiding damage, uh, avoiding change, I mean, but then meeting your twin, like attracts like, kindred spirits, mirror. I'm getting that the masculine is working through some major heavy shit. He really is. He's working through some major hefty stuff. And like I said, what needs to be released? I think he needs to release what he thought that relationship was going to be like i'm kind of getting that part of this is for in people who are in separation and where the masculine is he may even be with a karmic partner right now and not necessarily with a twin or he might be meeting his twin very soon um or realizing that the the feminine uh perhaps that is watching this is his twin i i it's such a it's all over the map i kind of feel like this is the masculine like if he really breaks everything down he kind of doesn't know how to feel like this is the, the the thing that i'm kind of getting like empathically it's like he wants to step into this he wants to step into this uh, mastery. He wants to step into this emperor power and the magician. And I really believe that he believes he's there and a part of him is, but there still has to be some clearing out that has to do it. So this is what I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask the fairies, uh, the healing with the fairies, how to heal this. What's the best way for the masculine to help heal and clear this out all this being stuck and and these memories that are hurting him in these toxic environments like what is a a good way for the masculine to clear this out like for healing for the masculine letting go right there just letting go he's got to let go of something He's holding on to something, and I don't know if he realizes he's holding on to it or not. But there is some holding on for this masculine, and by letting go, I think that he, if he lets go, he can step into this magician and emperor and clear out the solar plexus. I think that's what's that's what's going on. So what needs to be released? <laughs> Everything. That's what needs to be released. Yeah. All right. All right, so that, that kind of makes sense. So I think once the masculine just kind of accepts the fact that his emotions are all over the place and everything's all over the place, he's just got to basically say fuck it and throw it up to the wind. And I really kind of believe that this flight plan, this vacation for the, for the feminine is she's got to take a vacation from her masculine. I really believe that. I really believe that if you step back, feminines, your masculine is going to be able to move through this energy a lot quicker if the if the feminines just take a step back and take a vacation. That's kind of what I'm getting. All right, what needs releasing for the feminine? Oh, all right. Oh, we got that right there. Oh, what did I just say? What needs releasing? The king of earth, your masculine. 
A successful time, conf uh, confidently accept opportunities you're offered, the Midas touch, and the Nine of Water, which is your wish coming true, uh, concerns fade away, a love of life. This is the Nine of Cups. So um, what you have to let go of is your masculine. You have to let go of your King of Earth. You have to let go of the relationship on this plane. You have to let go because the earth is like, um, it's more of, of on, it, it, this is the pentacles, the coins, the worth, but this is also, uh, how you feel about it. And you know, you're, you're in that space. So this is what you have to put to the side for right now. This is what you have to release. Once you release this, I think he's going to be able to let go. It's really crazy, but that's exactly what I'm getting. So once the feminine is able to let go, the masculine is going to come around. So let's see what we get. Let's get a little bit more information for this. Let's see. About releasing with the feminine. No, no. Let's see. Put a spell on your charm. Seduction being won over. See... Yeah, you're you're got to release this energy. You have to release this where you're you're kind of like, "Oh, I'll do this and that'll get them back and or, you know, you're you're trying to win them over." You got to let all that shit go. You got to take a vacation from that. Step into these newer things. That's what you really want to do. You really want to step into those newer things. And how to help you heal through this? Let's see. How to help you achieve this let's get some healing from the fairies feminines let's see because this is kind of like a karmic shit on you as well oh look there's two detoxification and higher consciousness basically just detox yourself you know um take a bath take an epsom salts bath go hang out with friends um uh, let's see, meditate, um, yeah, higher consciousness, pay attention to, look at something that you really always like to do, find something spiritual that really gets you into your higher consciousness, like I said, meditation, yoga, dancing, music, listening to music, that can help detoxify you, play music if you play an instrument do something that you haven't done in a very long time to help you detox and cleanse all this stuff out of you this energy just keeps resonating with me over and over and over and over like that this is just this you know you're you're, you're right in that thing of like you know you're feeling for some reason like you just have to lure your your masculine in and by doing all these like little tricksy things and and stuff and like you know, like that's all what's in your head um, to get out of that. You got to detox all that shit out of there and, and get to higher consciousness. And that will help you get out of this space. That's what you need to release. That's that's what you need to release for this full moon. Okay. Um, so let's see. What is... What emotions... I'm going to go into the animal tarot deck. What emotions is the masculine have for his feminine? I didn't ask that because that was, I think, a past thing. Whether it's this life and he's in a karmic relationship or a past life. Or it, it could even be a parent. It could be like a mother or a sister. I'm getting a feminine. So there's a feminine somewhere. It could have even been a first girlfriend that really screwed him over. Or that screwed him up somewhere. There's got to be a reset button for him. But anyway. Um, Alright. So what is the emotions that the masculine is feeling for his feminine? What emotions does the divine masculine feel for his divine feminine? What emotions... Does the divine masculine feel for his divine feminine? What emotions? Uh, unity. Look at that. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You may feel called to act as a mentor, find a new teacher, or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. Where's that sacred path? That higher consciousness. Right there. Right there, there's your thing, your unity. 
your unity. He feels he feels connected to you. He is your twin flame. This this there like attracts like that twin meeting your twin. He wants to do this. He wants to be with you. He wants to unite with his twin. He does. He wants to do this. The masculine is letting the feminine know that the emotions there are that you are my twin. I want to unite with you. I want to be with you. But I have to let go of all this shit. And you have to also reach your higher consciousness by detoxing and, and stop playing human trickery. <laughs> Get out of the ego. Oh, wow. So, so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'm going to go into Signs from Love, Oracle by Mystic Moon. Oh, something flipped over. Uh, look at that. Depressed, detached, gray, unemotional. Yeah. He wants to tell you he he's he's going through this. He's going through something that is 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 holding the union back right now for some reason. Now you could be in connection with each other, and there's just could be like a little bit of a block that you're gonna have to work through. But I'm telling you, take a vacation, take a step back, feminines and masculines. It's okay that you're in this space that you're working through this state, this space. Yeah, love and desire. The masculine loves the feminine. Wow, does he ever? He really does, and he wants to unite. He wants to get there, but right now there's this, There's he just wants you to know that there's this unemotional place, this detached, this depressed state that he's got to let go of. And right now he's staying unemotional and detached from you because he has to be able to work through it. But in spirit, he's with you because he lo you're his love and desire. You're his Cupid. That's that's basically how he feels. That's what the divine fem masculine wants the divine feminine to know how he feels, his emotions. So let's see. What emotions does the divine feminine have towards the divine masculine? Well, that wasn't hard. Uh, you feel there's more to life than what you're living. So it's time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you. Or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're in control. Eight of summer. Summer is cups. So the eight of cups. So basically, you basically want your masculine to know, look, you work through this shit. But I'm not going to be waiting around necessarily. I'm not going to sit here and say, you know what? I'm going to wait all my entire life for you. You know, basically shit or get off the pot. You know, you're basically saying to your masculine, yeah, I love you too. Um, but, you know, I too want to, I, I want this king of earth. I want to find this nine of water. I want my wish coming true. I want my concerns fading away. I want my love life. I want my masculine to show up for me. This is what I want. She's letting you know she really wants that, but she also wants to let you know that she's in her power. She's in her moon. She's got this. She is the moon, and she's going to be starting some new adventures. So if you're not going to be stepping up, there might be another masculine in coming into play. And that's great. So divine feminines, if you're not with your twin, you know, there's no reason at all that says you have to be with your twin. The more you get stuck on this and it's not working out, the more that you're stuck on this of, with a specific person. Let me put it this way. If you call in this energy, the energy will come in. But a specific person may not be in this space because he's too busy going through this shit. Excuse me. So, that being said, she wants you to know that um, she may be moving on. And that's good. That's actually a really good thing. So, that's the emotion that she feels at this moment. Those are her emotions now. She's kind of getting a little antsy, you know. She's going to hop away. It's kangaroo. <laughs> drawn to something that'll make her happy and she's in control she wants you to know she's in control of this so if she decides to walk she's gonna walk 
Let's see some more energies around this for the feminine. Yeah. Pearl, hidden knowledge. She knows more than you think. She wants you to know. She knows more about this than you're you're letting on or she's letting on. Masculines. The feminine knows more than you realize. And she, but yeah, she's creating. She's creating that new space. She is creating that, that, um, I'm sorry. There's that pearl, hidden, hidden knowledge. And then creating. She's creating a new life for herself. She's getting into this page of fire and page of water um, thing so she can, yep, come into union with herself, with her own inner divine masculine. You know, it's time to step into that power, feminines. Step into your own divine masculine, which is here. Because once you do, that divine masculine that you step into, that's going to be that push for you. Um, you're going to get everything you want. And the divine masculine, if you step into that letting go power, and this 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 power, where is that? That, that emperor and, and that magician really i mean that's going to help you let go for sure wow really beautiful 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 all right so let's get what the energy surrounding the connection is what is the energy the universal energy surrounding the connection i'm going to go back to the uh geometry sacred geometry what is the energy surrounding the union dynamic huh. frequency of dynamic whoops supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequency it helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements both familiar and completely new with ease grace and great joy what i'm getting from this is the energy that is surrounding the connection is, is still in the works of having different players um, that are unknown and there are many different layers to this and it's being put together in a, in a beautiful way. Um, and it's, it's going to have, if, if you just relax with it and just concentrate on yourself and your own solar plexus energy um, and that chakra, and you really start to create your, your sense of self, that this dynamic is going to start to come together a lot more easier, a lot easier. And... Um, Supports our ability to harmonize between layers and aspects of different origin and frequencies. It helps us to put together a reality that is made up of many different elements, both familiar and completely new with ease, grace, and great joy. Yeah, I, 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 what I'm getting from this is that you don't know all the pieces, parts yet. Nobody does. And I think the more you create your own new way of doing things, I guess, is a good way of putting it. Um, the connection is going to have a new way of connecting, uh, if that makes sense. It's almost like, I, I, let me, I'm going to make a metaphor here. Um, it's almost like building a house. So you build your foundation and then if you just leave it alone and you expect to have a home, it's not going to happen. You have to put up walls and you have to put in electric and electricity and, and all this stuff that has to go in. The windows, the doors, the, the, the whole nine, ceilings, roofs, whatever. Um, if you don't put all those elements in and all the things that you don't really think about to create a home, you're not going to have it. You know what I mean? It's like it's not done yet. That's kind of what I'm getting. So I, I there's... There's parts of this that we don't know yet, that you don't know yet, that spirit hasn't released yet because it's probably still in the making. It's still being 
formed. And it's still being formed by you stepping into the solar plexus chakra, by you creating that sense of self. Because once you get that sense of self, it's going to bring this dynamic together on different levels and different layers and different frequencies. If that makes any sense. I hope that makes sense because I really have no idea what I just said. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> let's get some more um sign from spirit love oracle so the energy surrounding the connection oh that was a mouthful i i don't even know what was said to me i'm still a little confused so the energy surrounding the connection there's two here clinging and voyage yeah see this is what i'm kind of getting like that <sighs> Yeah, that this the masculine is clinging to something. This is kind of what I'm getting. That the masculine and the feminine, it kind of fell out like that. The feminine needs to go on a voyage. You need to just cut loose and get the fuck out of there. And the energy connecting to the masculine, he's the one clinging to something, but he's not clinging to the divine feminine. He's clinging to the toxic feminine. That's what this toxic shit is. This toxic thing over here, frozen in time. This, this, where is that? There, here, this radio toxic, toxic environment, emotional vampire. That's what he's clinging to for some reason. This is what he's stuck on. This is what he's got to work through. He's got to let go of that shit because you're the one feminine. You're the one who he really wants to unite with, but he doesn't see that because he's, he's too depressed and detached and not connecting to those emotions. So he's got to release that. So that that's this, this is the energy surrounding the connection. And I'm, I'm also getting that this also now is coming in as the feminine clinging. She's clinging on to the hope that the masculine is just going to come around and call her. Or going to come around and they're going to get back in union. And um, he's looking to get the hell out of there. Because he can't deal. He's got to deal with all that bullshit first. So this is both ways. So you're both in the same energy, which is interesting because it's the twin. It's the mirroring, the, the mirror, which makes you each other's twin, which makes complete fucking sense. Because if the masculine is clinging to the toxic feminine and the, the feminine is going to be clinging to the toxic masculine because she's not letting him be free to get out of that space and he wants to bolt and be done with it. And meanwhile, on the flip side, the, the divine masculine is clinging to that en energy and she wants to get the hell out of there with it. So see, see how the mirroring happens? It's insane, but this is, this is just what's resonating. And like I said, you could even be in union with each other and this is like some blocks and um, to your connection, to stuff that you have to go through. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Ooh. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, so I'm gonna get a, a what to, let, let's, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's, let's get some, let's get some love stuff going on. So these are the soul things. I, I, I wasn't even necessarily. This is, like I said, you're mirroring each other. So it goes for both. My love is like an ocean, forever longing for your shore. You are an eternal ocean of love. I close my heart and my, I close my eyes and my heart is filled with rose quartz light. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then from a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect. Yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred for they each help us grow in love and wisdom. So that's beautiful. That is really beautiful. Look at that. So I I'm saying that you're both saying this to each other on different levels. That that's all I'm saying. I'm saying the twins are just together and then that's it. So, let's get a message from uh, your guardian angels, from the uh, angel of guardian angel messages from Tony Carmine Salerno. Let's see what, 
what's a final message? Inner child. <laughs> Nurture your inner child and begin to express the awesome beauty you hold within you. We live in a world where a formula exists for everything, yet love and creativity have no formula. They do not need to be studied, simply nurtured. Regularly set some time aside and just to play. Right there. This is what this is. That inner child. Remember earlier, it was like that whole thing with the masculine with the inner child? The feminine has to do this as well. Uh, both of you, you both have to do this. That inner child of you, that, that feminine part, the masculine part of you feminines out there has to deal with this shit. And along with yourself, along with the feminine and the masculines out there, you have to deal with the feminine shit. You have to do this. This is what we're, what we're here to be doing. This is what we're called upon. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What a really nice reading. Wow. All right, this is a tough full moon. <laughs> all right, everybody, I hope this resonated with you and I wish you all lots of love and luck and I will check in with you soon. Oh, so this, um, I'm going to say this is going to go through until the new moon, which I believe is the 31st of July, which is interesting because that's going to be the second new moon in july so july has two new moons which is pretty cool so i'm going to say that this inner energy is can be kind of go through all the way through this cycle this part of the cycle with the moon so that that's just for some reason that's what i'm getting and that's what i'm going with so work with this energy find that inner truth that inner child play with with him and her um and and just go from there all right. Take care, everybody. Be blessed. Bye-bye.